Welcome to Get Real with Michael Atencio, where we tackle the biggest issues facing our world today. And today we have a real doozy for you. The internet is abuzz with a new end of the world prediction, claiming that a massive solar storm will hit Earth on April 23rd, 2023, causing technological disruptions that will bring about the apocalypse. Now, you might be thinking, haven't we heard this before? And the answer is yes, we have. But let's investigate this latest theory and see if there's any truth to it. Before going further, can I ask you to hit the subscribe and like buttons for me. Your simple clicks help to support my channel so I can continue to add more videos. According to bolavip.com comma, a new conspiracy theory claiming that the end of the world will happen on April 23rd, 2023 has been gaining traction, especially among Spanish language users as the main source seems to be the account at Las Capsulas del Tiempo. The theory states that an intense solar storm will take place on that day, causing severe technological disruptions and bringing about the end of the world. Now, while there is a kernel of truth to this theory, it's important to separate fact from fiction. Solar storms are a real phenomenon, and they can cause disruptions to power grids, mobile networks, and the internet. The strongest recorded solar flare to ever hit Earth occurred in 1859 in what is referred to as the Carrington event. That particular solar storm caused telegraph wires to burst into flames. In 1921, the New York Railroad storm also caused fires in electrical equipment and telegraph control rooms all over the world, while in 1989, a moderately strong solar storm knocked out power in Northeast Canada for nine hours. NASA has predicted a solar storm strike will hit Earth on April 20th. Space weather physicist Dr. Tomitoskov forecasts a 10% chance that an X-class solar flare eruption could occur, causing shortwave radio and GPS disruptions. Should that happen at the same time as a solar storm, it could severely affect power grids, mobile networks, and the internet. However, it's important to note that the strongest solar storm in nearly six years blasted Earth last month, and space weather forecasters didn't even see it coming. The worst thing to happen during that event was spaceflight company Rocket Lab having to delay a launch by 90 minutes. So while there is a small chance that a solar storm could cause disruptions on April 23, 2023, it's not likely that it will bring about the end of the world. So what causes these solar storms and why are they potentially dangerous? Solar storms are caused by the sun's magnetic field. When the magnetic field lines get twisted and tangled, they can create a buildup of energy that eventually explodes in the form of a solar flare, or coronal mass ejection, CME. CMEs are massive clouds of plasma and magnetic fields that are ejected from the sun's corona. When they hit Earth, they can cause disruptions to our planet's magnetic field, which can lead to power outages, communication disruptions, and even damage to satellites and other spacecraft. Now, while CMEs can be dangerous, they are not likely to cause the end of the world. As we mentioned earlier, the sun will eventually become a red giant, which could potentially cause the end of life on Earth. But that won't happen for another five billion years. So we don't need to worry about that just yet. So what can we take away from this latest end of the world prediction? Well, first of all, it's important to separate fact from fiction. While solar storms can cause disruptions to power grids, mobile networks, and the internet, they are not likely to bring about the end of the world. The chances of a massive solar storm happening on April 23rd, 2023, and causing the apocalypse are slim. Secondly, it's important to understand the science behind solar storms and how they can impact our world. While they are a real phenomenon, they are not something to panic about. Scientists and space weather forecasters are constantly monitoring the sun for any signs of solar activity and they have measures in place to mitigate any potential damage. And finally, we need to be vigilant about the spread of misinformation on the internet. While social media platforms can be great for spreading information and connecting people, they can also be a breeding ground for conspiracy theories and fake news. It's important to fact check information before sharing it and to rely on reputable sources for news and information. In conclusion, while the latest end of the world prediction may have caught people's attention, it's important to keep a level head and rely on scientific evidence and facts. We may not know what the future holds, but we can prepare for potential disruptions 
and work together to keep our world safe and secure. Thank you for joining us on Get Real with Michael Atencio.